It's often said that a true display of a pro player's skill comes not when they're dominating with little effort, but rather how well they can play when their back is to the wall and everything's on the line. Smash Brothers Ultimate Icon MK Leo put on such a display at Frostbite 2020 recently, clawing his way to the top of an absolutely stacked bracket on loser's side and pulling off one of the most impressive tournament runs in Smash history. 2019 was the first year of Ultimate's competitive life, and Leo spent it proving to the world that he was an early contender for the game's top title. Racking up a stunning record of first place wins in 10 major tournaments, including EVO and Smash Summit, the Mexican maestro entered 2020 with a huge target on his back. Everyone wanted a piece of MK Leo. His performance at Frostbite started strong. Leo blazed through pools without dropping a single game thanks to his mastery of the tricky yet powerful Joker. But it was far from a free ride to the finals as Leo would find a nasty surprise awaiting him at the dawn of Top 96 in the form of Prodigy's Mario. A little bit more percent. Not getting anything off of his gun attempts, too. I mean, I like the downward angle guns, but that's just, oh that, that just ain't it. Oh, oh, what? Oh, no. Are you oh, kidding? No. no. Prodigy absolutely demolished MK Leo, making short work of him in three quick games that made the Evo champion look like a net play random. It was an absolute shutout following a double two stock with an explosive finale in which Prodigy styled on his bow with an incredible dunk. Leo's chances at continuing his winning streak were looking absolutely dire. MK Leo trying to keep this match as close as possible. Now, this, there, if there was ever a time, excuse me, for MK Leo to strike and bring it back, it's certainly now. Oh. Only 46, 53 yeah. percent. Oh. What oh just my happened? Goodness. That loss awakened something in MK Leo. He was playing well prior to his match with Prodigy, but afterwards, he went from playing well to playing out of his mind. A veritable gauntlet of top tier players, many of them champions in their own right, stood between him and top eight. And if he wanted to take home the gold, he'd have to carve through all of them without dropping a single set. Being down 2-0 and being down to your last stock, and he has all three still, and look what at this. What a grab. What a grab. And the platform Woo! comes in perfectly for Leo. Nair Woo! over the back here for the stage spike. Just in that moment, Leo got Arsene at probably the worst time for Samsora. Hold on, 64. 81, suddenly. And Nairo is Oh, not again. A second tournament in a row. Leo on a fresh start. Yes, and he is just, I mean, this match complete running away. Yes, the tried and true up air to up smash. Oh, there's an air, the forward air, still not enough. Maybe an up air would have done it, but oh my this is not oh good. Oh no my way. Turning a bad situation into a good one indeed, MK Leo. Dark Wizzy, Samsora, Zach Ray, Nairo, Debuz, a who's who of Smash Ultimate contenders all trampled in the wake of MK Leo's Warpath. Successfully reaching the loser's semifinals, Leo was up against prolific Pac-Man Master T, whose fancy play and crazy combos brought him closer than anyone to knocking MK out of the running. So be careful for the landing fair. We know MK Leo's gonna be looking for that at these percents, especially without Arsene, but it looks like enough time has passed that Persona is actually about to be released, but and that amazing parry! Into Bell, into F Smash, good stuff coming out from T. It wasn't quite enough, however. The mark of a true pro is the ability to make strong adjustments on the fly, and Leo did just that, overcoming T in the final game of a grueling five-round set. Next up was Tweak, yet another multi-tournament winner who pitted his ferocious wolf against Leo's Joker. Though initially managing to eke out two wins, Tweak also fell victim to Leo's master adaptation and ended up on the receiving end of a couple of two stocks to close out the match. He's definitely going to try. Wait. OK, big combos. Arsene's coming soon, though. Arsene's coming. Oh, no. Don't even need Arsene, but here he is. Into the counter. And MK Leo is going to take it over the Frostbite 2019 champion. It was time for Leo to face off with Game & Watch specialist Maester in the Grand Finals. But with all the momentum he'd gathered from his legendary losers run, his fellow Mexican player stood absolutely no chance. Leo even made a taunting switch to new character Byleth in the final game of the set, seemingly just to remind everyone that Joker or no Joker, he's still the undisputed best ultimate player in the world. MK Leo will completely play to win. He won't. He definitely won't play to super try to please the cleft crowd and do a down B where he potentially could lose the game. But up smash. Oh! And that's gonna be it, ladies and gentlemen. Your champion, MK Leo.